today's another day guys and gals let's see what today has to offer let's see what happens just grabbed a shower here at the Kappas Casing Flying J nice and clean now I'm grabbing some fuel I'm trying to keep my hands clean at the same time I think this load looks pretty good I think I wrapped it up pretty good I do say so myself a little loose up here but oh, that could be fixed could be fixed yeah I can fix that and these straps are just to hold the tarps down right I think it's pretty gotta watch out here at the pumps though you either got to deal with this slippery mess or with a lake if I can get my truck in here to Walmart, do my regular check for disinfectant wipes and maybe some hand sanitizer. What do you guys think my chances are? It's a small town way out in the middle of nowhere up in Northern Ontario, sort of top of the world out here. Think they'll have hand sanitizer? My best guess is probably not. meters make a u-turn if possible and then turn right in 190 no, 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 meters Karen. in 100 meters park and go into walmart see if you can find some hand sanitizer that's a good idea let's do that let's go and make a u-turn back here though come back around and park on the other side see, this is what i mean this trucker here he gets it a lot of guys are saying oh i can't find food anywhere Lots of, oh, there's a driveway on this side. I didn't have to come through here and do a U-turn. Oh, well, we're gonna do one. We're already here. But yeah, you can go to the grocery store, stock up on groceries. I know you can't always get a truck close to every grocery store, but you can find one. I stock up on like a week's worth of groceries. You're fine, you get lots of food. I hardly ever eat out when I'm on the road because it's way too expensive. So I don't even notice that they closed the restaurants down. Way too expensive. Park over here to make sure nobody blocks me in. You know they will. That's why you park defensively, right? What, do you think I was gonna leave you in the truck? I usually do, but this time I need all your help. Cross your fingers, hold for hand sanitizer. Mm, toilet paper's still almost all gone. You got some stuff left jeez you guys are crazy man I don't know where the wipes would be usually this is all the laundry detergent people still going crazy over toilet paper though and there's already only a limit of one per customer they're still gone I've got to be close lots of Kleenex you could always wipe your butt with that came down to it. Some paper towel here. I still got lots of that. Still don't understand the toilet paper thing, guys. Worried about you. Nice all wipe. All gone. Nothing under there. They've got social distancing lines on the on the floor. You can only go this way in this aisle and you have to leave one empty box between you and the next customer. And there was a security guard at the door making sure not too many people came in either. You have to wait outside in line if there's too many. Alright, well I didn't want to make the trip for nothing, so we got a few things. One case of water, because we're only allowed one case at a time. I figure every time I'm in the store, I better grab a case. Make sure I got water in here. Uh, they got no gloves left except for these. And these are heavy duty neoprene coated latex gloves. I wanna use these for fueling. The reason I got these is because, uh, well in my mind I can disinfect them, spray them with disinfectant and just let them sit and disinfect themselves. So I can reuse them. Since all the disposable ones are gone, but this is better, recycling, right? Now I don't know if it works to disinfect them or not, but just let me have this. 
Okay, makes me feel better. Reusable. So for fueling, and I got another pair for working with paperwork with the customer. No more wipes, but I did find these. Oh, I got a, my wife is calling me, I bet. That's my wife. One second, she's more important. All right, we're gonna use the mic again, just for when you're here in this position. Got the phone call with the better half done, and now we got fuel, we showered, we got groceries. Time to hit the road again. Actually, you know what? I wanted to clean my glasses first. All right. I had bought some lens wipes here in Walmart to keep my glasses clean. It's also an, it's an alcohol-based wipe as well, so it helps keep the the finer things clean as well in my glasses. Because my sunglasses are something I wear on my face every day, and I'm always touching with my hands and everything. Don't forget to wash your glasses and clean those off too. A bunch of germs and bacteria and viruses on there. Turn right. Absolutely. You see me? I'm already doing it. Way ahead of you. So now we go through one of the most remote areas of Canada on the Trans Canada Highway 11 between Capus Casing. Well, actually, we gotta go through Hearst first, but then between Hearst and uh, what is it, Long Lake? Long Lake? Long Lake? What's the next town down there? White River? Anyways, it's a couple of hours of the most remote stretch of highway in Canada and I'd say North America. No cell service or very little cell service. Little, no services. Always make sure you're prepared and stocked up before you go through here. Well, we had to cut the day short because the day is over. It's dark outside and I have an oversized load and according to my oversized permit, I have to park now. I have to park within a half hour after sunset. So here we are, parked. I had four hours left on my clock. I could have kept going, but no. Gotta watch out for the other people have a wide load. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm not, it's not a big deal. So uh, tomorrow we're going to have to run hard. I think tomorrow we should be able to make it into Manitoba. And they don't have any uh, rules on my permits for Manitoba about pulling it at night. Because it's all four lane divided highways there. So it's a lot easier and better. Makes sense here because we're on a two lane highway. And uh, you just don't want to be pulling oversized loads through here at night makes sense so tomorrow night we'll be in manitoba we'll get a full day in tomorrow and then a full day in the next day and then we're gonna be in alberta to deliver this steel a job well done right maybe i shouldn't speak so soon yet we'll see a job in the process of being well done and then i don't know i'm gonna pick up a new load and head home for a couple days 
and then we'll see where the world's at, right? One day at a time. This world's a crazy world. At least it's not getting any more crazy. It's just staying at the same level of crazy, crazy right now. But who am I kidding? It's still getting crazier. Oh boy. Oh boy. So I'm just hanging everything up here. Uh, this is my bread. I sat on this loaf the other day when I was talking to you guys on the live stream. Crazy. Look at that. <laughs> I had it on the bed here and I was sitting here live streaming to you and I had no idea I was sitting on a loaf of bread. <sighs> so I'll see you right here in the morning. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me out more than you think. If you do that, leave me a comment down below. Let me know you're okay. Uh, if you have any stories to tell me about where you're at during this quarantine. If you know anybody who got infected and stuff, maybe share it down below if you feel like it. Uh, maybe people reading the comments will be able to uh, relate to it. And when they see someone else's experience, maybe they'll take it a little more serious. Because we all should be taking this serious. We make jokes about it. We still got to laugh. I, I we can't be serious through this whole thing. I'm still cracking jokes. Still posting funny memes on Facebook. But I know this is a serious thing that the world's going through. And I hope you guys are all right. I really mean that. I'll see you tomorrow.